Yeah, man, I'm over here. I just picked up the package from BK. You know what I'm saying? He basically said we're going to get another drop going on this week. You know, but I can't believe, bro, it's already the eighth week and I still can't find this hard brush. I think I need to go to church and repent, man. It must be something I must have did in my past life. And then to top it off, bro, once I got this brush, man, I was just brushing with it in my hair and all of a sudden it slipped out my hands. Now, you know that's a cardinal sin, but man, as soon as I picked that bad boy up, it had all kinds of chips on it. Yeah, that's the L I'm gonna have to take, but man, I think I'm gonna have to go to church next Sunday, bro. I need to get my life together, man, for real, for real. I can't keep doing this, man. All right, bro, I'm gonna see you in a little bit. I'll talk to you. Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. All right, now in this video today, what I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be reviewing, this is the Royalty 701. Now, like I mentioned already in the intro, you guys gotta forgive me, you know what I'm saying? Because I had the brush, I was excited and everything like that, I was brushing my hair, but for whatever reason, man, brushes never slip out of my hand, but this one just so happened to do that, you know? And I ended up getting these little scrapes and stuff all on the brush. As a waiver, it just hurts to be able to see that, you know what I'm saying? Especially with these beautiful brushes like this. But that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna also go over the review of this brush. So let's not waste any time and let's just jump straight into it. All right, now with this brush, one of the first things that I wanna say is when I first got my hands on this bad boy, y'all already know purple is one of my favorite colors. As y'all can see, your boy got the lavender do-rag on and with the logo and everything to match. But at the same time, when I got this brush, the first thing that popped in my head was purple haze. And the reason why I say that is, I don't know if y'all remember, but Cameron actually had an album that was called Purple Haze. I'm gonna make sure I put a picture of it and everything like that. And this brush just reminded me of the sky in the background of that album cover. Now, when you look at this brush, as you guys can see, it has that beautiful, like purple slash lavender color to it. And this is the original paint job of the royalties where it's mixed and it's hand painted, which simply means that every single one of these brushes are very unique. You'll never have the same brush that look the same. Some people may have more of a darker purple. Some people may have a lighter purple with their variations but that's one thing about the royalty brushes that a lot of people appreciate now off top with this brush as you guys probably noticed this is a seven row extra soft brush and one thing i want to point out is if you guys have been following these reviews one thing that was able to help me determine the firmness of all of these brushes I already knew most likely they will be made based off of the number since this is the 701 this is the very first brush out of the royalties and with that being said this is a extra i'm talking about pillow soft soft brush Whenever you use a brush like this, you don't have to use a plastic bag because that's what this brush is designed for. You know what I'm saying? This brush is gonna glide over your head and just give you that amazing shine to be able to polish that top surface level of your hair. Now, with the fact that this brush is an extra, extra soft, when I was brushing my hair with it, I really didn't feel any pull whatsoever. It simply just glides across your hair. And at the same time, it has those blonde bristles that a lot of people love, you know? So now one thing I wanna point out is when it comes to the bristle length, even though this is an extra extra soft when it comes to comparing it to the royalty 709 as you guys can see the bristles are the same length it's just simply a matter of bk's bristling system that allows this brush to be able to feel so super super soft and that's honestly one reason why i think it slipped out my hand because with other brushes sometimes sometimes when i'm brushing my hair what i'll do is i'll hold the brush like this and my finger will be underneath these bristles and with normal brushes because they have a, a firmness to them and everything like that if i if i hold the brush or whatever the bristles won't bend and I'll, I'll be able to hold it like that. But with this brush, because it's an extra soft, I was holding it the same way and then the bristles just bend it and it slipped out my hand. Oh my God, it was oh my God. And then after that moment, I knew it was game over.
All right, now when it comes to using this brush, like I told you guys already, this is an extra soft. With extra soft brushes like, brushes like these, what you wanna do is use them at the very end of your brush session. Or if you unrag and you feel the need to brush, especially if you wanna brush your edges or whatever the case down, just to make sure that your hair is laid because sometimes when you unrag, the edges kinda look a little bit crazy. If you wanna hit your edges, you wanna use an extra soft brush because what it'll do is it won't disturb the rest of your hair and lift up too much of your hair. Now with extra soft brushes, what they do is they polish your hair and they coat your hair with the sebum that you've distributed through your hair if you use the medium brush. So when it comes to using these brushes, what you want to do is follow the following order. You want to start off with a medium. This is the 706. I'll make sure I link that review right above. You want to start off with a medium to help distribute the natural oil. From that medium, what you want to do is be able to use uh, this, your 709, which is a premium. Basically, it's a medium at the same time, but it's a little bit softer than the 706. Now, depending on your hair type, whatever, you may have a different opinion but for me the 709 is not as firm as the 706 the next brush that you want to use is you want to be able to use the 704 now with this brush this is a medium soft which means that it's a medium but it's on the softer side of a medium the next brush you want to use would be the 801. Now the 801 is considered a softy, but at the same time, it's not an extra soft. Now, once you're done using the 801, that's when you want to use this bad boy right here because with an extra soft, it's just going to coat your hair entirely and just give you that crazy shine. Now, when you use the extra soft, I recommend you brush at least 10 to 20 minutes with this bad boy because that's going to give you the best look and it's going to help lay your hair down all the way. Now, with that being said, that kind of covers the review of this brush. Like I said, if you guys want to know a comparison, you can check out my first review that I did in regards to the 709 which was the first drop I'll make sure I link it right above here but when it comes to this bad boy the main thing I want to talk about today is paint chipping as well as Brush King's exchange policy. Now, as a waiver and somebody that appreciates great brushes like these, whenever you go out and buy a brush that's priced at the point that these brushes are priced at, it hurts your heart whenever you drop a brush and the paint get chipped up and it gets scratched up and everything like that. But sadly, there are a lot of people that feel like these brushes should not chip. Now, the only reason why your brush would chip is if you drop it and it lands on the ground and it strikes it at a certain angle or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, your brush won't chip. Now, I've seen people that try to exchange brushes or make public posts and say, oh man, this brush, the, the paint chipped and everything like that, I want my money back. One thing that you guys need to understand is Brush King is one of the few companies that offers an exchange policy. Now, with that being said, when it comes to his exchange policy, you guys gotta understand that when it comes to personal products, he's not gonna return something if you've already been brushing your hair with it and after a certain time period, you drop your brush and then the chip and everything and then you wanna get your money back. That's not how the world works. When it comes to these brushes, you really have to take care of them like I already mentioned before. These brushes in regards to how they are, it's kind of like fine china when it comes to being served at a top tier restaurant, you know? If you want regular paper plates and everything like that, you can go out there, you can go buy an Annie, you know what I'm saying? You can go buy the new school Diane's and all of that stuff. You can go buy a cheap brush strokes brush, but when you want the best of the best, then you want to go out there and cop these royalty brushes. Now, the same thing with fine china, you're not going to treat the fine china the same way you would treat the paper plates. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, if you have these kind of brushes, I know a lot of people always say, Oh, J. Lou, man, I don't know what's up. I just got this brush in the mail and the paint chipping. And then what'll happen is Brush King will actually check because a lot of you guys don't know, but he'll check to see when you actually ordered it versus the time you made your complaint. And a lot of times people like to lie, but when the facts come out, they've had the brush for already three weeks or something along those lines, and they're just trying to get a refund or, or, or get another brush. And with that being said, let's just get into the actual exchange change policy. All right, now when it comes to Brush King policy, what he clearly states on the website is the following. If the product is damaged upon delivery, please contact me immediately. Please inspect all products as soon as you open your package. If there is a manufacturer's defect on the bristles only, then I will replace it. All exchange requests must be made within seven days from the delivery date. This exchange policy does not cover paint finishes or logos. It is only for bristle defects. And then there's another thing that says, please note, bristles falling out is not considered a defect. Please refer to the why are the bristles falling out on my brand new royalty brush section in the FAQs. Now, with that being said, some of you guys may be confused about, okay, what is a defect? You know what I'm saying? Because my bristles are falling out. The reason why he says bristles falling out are not a defect is because when he makes these brushes, especially with the extra soft brushes or the brushes that have blonde bristles, he overstuffs the little holes that are found in every single brush with bristles. 
bristles. The main reason why you want to do that is because with any brush that you buy, the bristles are going to fall out because of how they're made. So it's expected that the bristles are going to fall out, but a defect is something to where once you get your brush within seven days, and if you have not used your brush and there's a whole bunch of bristles missing, you know what I'm saying? That may be because of shipping or sometimes there's just a manufacturing issue. But with Brush King, one thing that I know is that whenever he ships these brushes out, he actually puts these brushes in every single box in order to ship them out to you guys. You know what I'm saying? So he's inspecting every single one of these brushes. So most likely you're not going to have a brush defect. Now, the only reason why you may have a brush defect is whenever the mailman is dropping off your mail, he may get a little bit too rough. He may not understand that you have a brush in the, in the package and stuff like that. Or whatever the case is, it'll get smushed and damaged the bristles while it's still in the package. And when you open the package, you open your brush and you see, dang man, the bristles are messed up. You have to immediately contact Brush King and it's preferred to email him. His email address is found on the box as well as in the hair brush maintenance card. Now, if you're asking what is the hair brush maintenance card, it's basically this thing right here that comes in every single box. And at the back of it, that is the return policy as well as his info to contact him. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to businesses, you want to contact the business the way that they ask you to contact them. With BK, he takes customer series to the, to the top of his priorities. You know what I'm saying? So if you do have any issues, he will make it a priority to, to get you taken care of because that's what he prides himself in. You know what I'm saying? I know with myself, I've had issues in the past with BK. I contacted him and we got things squared away way before I ever got the opportunity to do these reviews for you guys. Now, the next thing I want to talk about when it comes to uh, paint chipping and all that stuff like that, you just really have to take care of your brush. Some people will say, oh man, my brush shouldn't chip if I drop it or whatever the case is. But if you look at anything in life, if you have some shoes on and you rub it against something of the wrong way, your shoes are going to get scuffed. With anything in life, whenever two different objects come in contact with each other, it has the possibility of messing it up. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you have to understand, man, when you have these brushes, make sure, especially with the extra soft brushes, you don't put your finger right there. You make sure you want to grip it just like this or you grab the handle. Now, me personally, I don't know no real waiver that brushes they have like this. Most waivers normally grab the brush just like this. But whenever you're using this brush, just make sure you have a firm grip on it. Make sure that your hands are clean. When I say that, you don't want to have any products on your hands. You don't want to have any oils. You want to make sure that they're dry to the touch because if they're not, the fact that these brushes are hand painted and they have a glossy finish to them, it's just going to increase the chances of them slipping out of your hand if you have products in your hand. Now, another thing I want to point out in regards to the paint and the finish, a lot of people tend to say, hey, yo, J. Lou, I don't know what's up with this brush, man, the paint chip. Now, what a lot of you guys don't understand, and I've kind of already mentioned it in the past, is when you wash these brushes, you don't want to soak them underneath water. You don't want to submerge them underneath water. The hair brush maintenance card says the same thing, but a lot of you guys are saying, I'm not doing that, J. Lou. I'm still having the same issue. The main reason why you're having that issue is because you are leaving your brushes in the bathroom. And if you're taking a shower, the heat from the shower, if you are not allowing your, your bathroom to air out, that steam from your shower, it'll basically become like a sauna. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you get out the shower, you got to wipe the mirror off because it's all fogged up and glazed. That's one reason why in almost every single bathroom, there's a switch to where if you press the switch, you hear that vent? that vent will basically help get rid of all of the fog and all of the steam and everything like that whenever you're taking a shower. Now, if you don't have that, what you want to do is make sure you open your doorway in. What I try to do, because as y'all can see, I have my brushes in the bathroom, my showers in the back and everything. What I do when I'm taking my shower is I turn my vent on and at the same time, I open my door and I'll have my ceiling fan spinning when it, uh, in, my, in my bedroom. So therefore, it's, it's circulating the air from the bathroom and it's making sure that no water is forming anywhere within my bathroom. You also want to do that mainly for hygiene reasons. If you don't properly ventilate your bathroom, you're going to have mold that'll start growing and, and that's just nasty, man. You don't, you don't want to live in those kind of conditions. Whenever you're in the shower, it's going to create humidity and that humidity is going to weaken the bonds that, that is making the paint stay together. Once that happens, the paint is going to be more susceptible to peel up off the brush. So you really don't want to leave them in the bathroom unless you follow those steps. Even if you follow those suggestions that I gave you, it still makes your brush more susceptible to peel. And at the same time, once your brush has a chip, that chip is already peeling the paint up. So if you leave it in the bathroom and the humidity from the shower is acting on the paint, it's going to further the process of peeling the paint up off your brush. So you don't want to leave your brushes in the bathroom, but if you do, those are some steps to be able to take care of your brushes and try to avoid that from happening. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stay tuned because in the future, I'm going to have a video showing you guys something of a better place to be able to store your brushes. But with that being said, that's all I have for the review. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. And at the end of the day, it's your boy, Jay Lou. Salute. Come brush with me, hey, do what 
I do. Lou is the name, I'm so off the chain. Torino is the brush, do wet wood grain. Brush away the hair, some. Brush away the hair, some. Brush away the hair, some. Brush away the hair, some.